Hello everyone, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss about the analytical function, which is very useful for the uh, data analytics profile. So I received a couple of the question uh, from my student that uh, while facing the interview on the data analyst, they getting the question related to the analytical function. So basically, uh, what is the analytical function? So I will detail, I will discuss in the detail uh, how we can use the analytical function and what the analytical function is uh, available in the SQL. So uh, before starting, if you want to enroll this course uh, on the practice and download SQL training, uh, if you enroll before the 15th of August, uh, you will uh, get the additional 30% discount in all the courses. Uh, just you can use the independence as a coupon code and you will get the 30% uh, flat discount uh, in each and every courses which is available on my website and also I'm going to start the one-to-one -one real time training on this uh, coming Saturday uh, morning 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. so if you want to learn and if you want to enroll uh, you can enroll on this course and you will get the 30% uh, discount on this course as well so uh, let's start with the question uh, and uh, exactly what type of the question you will get uh, related to the analytical function. So uh, basically uh, uh, you will get the question related to what is the analytical function in the SQL. So we have the uh, most of the common uh, analytical function like uh, uh, basically uh, CUEM underscore distinct uh, first value, last value. Uh, lead and lag okay we also have the couple of the more analytical function uh, but uh, most of the time interviewer will ask you the question related to uh, this function okay so uh, basically in this video I will discuss in the detail what exactly uh, CUME underscore distinct first value and the last value and the next video I will discuss about the lead and lag what is the difference between the lead and the what is the difference between the lag in which scenario you can use the lead in which scenario you will use the lag okay so let's start with the first understanding uh, what exactly the analytical function is there so basically uh, analytical function is a used to uh, calculate an aggregated value uh, based on the group of the rows okay so uh, whenever we have the requirement to uh, calculate uh, the value based on the group of row, uh, we can use the uh, analytical function. Okay, so first I will discuss about the uh, cum di underscore distinct. Uh, someone also in the short form uh, called the CDF, okay, uh, cumulative distri distribution analytical function. So basically uh, this function provide a uh, uh, cumulative distribution value so uh, let, let me explain uh, what type of the uh, value will be uh, provided so I have one sample uh, uh, table okay uh, sample database okay like uh, select star from uh, table name that is the bikes table app so in this table uh, I have the information of the uh, bike uh, like the uh, detail of the bike sales data so we have the bike's name, we have the price, uh, we have the city, uh, kilometer uh, drive and owner name, first owner or second owner and the uh, age, uh, what is the age of the bike and the power and the brand name. Okay, so uh, this have the, I have the some sample table available. Okay, so uh, basically uh, this function CUME underscore distinct, if you the syntax is just you can use the CUME underscore district. Uh, you need to be put the um, uh, in bracket and then you need to be use the over and what basis you need to be uh, find the value. So basically uh, order by clause. Okay, so this is the mandatory you need to be passed order by what basis to price. So if you give the price as the uh, descending, so top value will come in the first. Okay, so now you can see additional column will be created okay so basically cdf is created so it cdf is what doing basically each and every row uh, one first row they will divide the first 
one divided by a uh, total number of the row 54 okay so one divided by 54 you will get the 0 0.018 our uh, second one is the 2 plus 1 3 divided by 54 so you will get 0, 0, 0, 0 0.037 okay now if you come coming to the last so in the last they will just put the uh, 54 divided by 54 so that is the region is coming one okay uh, you can also use the partition by clause so partition by clause is basically used to just uh, uh, grouping the data okay so suppose i have this table i want to group by the brand okay so you can see in the table by uh, bikes table uh, we have the brand okay so uh, basically we have the tbs royal infield so if you use the partition by clause okay so for each brand they will they give the different uh, uh, distribution value okay so for the group for the bajaj okay so uh, total bajaj we have the uh, around uh, 14 of the record okay so if you divide uh, 1 divided by 14 you will get 0 0.071 if you divide 3 divided by 14 now coming to the third row they will 3 plus 2 plus 1 and divided by 14 like base this calculation will be done okay so i hope you understand the uh, uh, cum underscore distribution value okay now the second uh, analytical function i have that is the first value okay so first value return the first value in the order of the set value so is always written this is the very simple and always return the whatever the first value will be there so first value based on the whatever the uh, the value uh, you will pa pass here so if the price is the if you put the uh, descending order so first they will order the data based on the descending of the like top of the price like 98,000 will become in the top and the first value you can see a uh, royal infield classic 350c is there so all the table this value will be populate into the output okay same like the last value uh, last value need to be populate the last but if you execute like the last value they will just give the whatever the column value will be there you can see so the reason is uh, you need to be in the uh, last value uh, in uh, analytical function here we need to be start with the uh, rows between where you need to be start okay so by default they are taking the uh, current uh, row as well the unbounding uh, following so whatever the unbounding what is the unbounding preceding unbounding preceding is nothing but the first row and unbounding following is the nothing but is the last row okay so they will they will check the range between the first row to the last row so if you pass here the rows between the unbounding preceding and unbounding following then you will get the last value so if you run the code so if you go here you know you can see the uh, my last value is the bajaj avenger street 228 220 abs so same value will be populating here if you use the partition by clause brand okay so if you use the partition by brand here so now you can see bikes name is coming so here the bajaj is there so now we have the in the last value you can see Bajaj Pulsar NS200 ABS is coming so for each and every brand they will have the new value so if you coming to the hero here so you can see hero splendor i smart plus uh, will be showing the last value 11 IBS 1110C same is populating into the output also okay so like this uh, the uh, based on the requirement if you have to populate this type of the value uh, you can use the aggregated function also okay so uh, basically we can also use the analytical function like the sum over so i will talk that type of the question in the uh, future as well okay so if you have any question if you have any doubt and uh, if you attending any type of the interview uh, or uh, if you're not able to solve it okay so uh, just you can put the question in the comment box you can also learn the complete sql training uh, from the playlist we have the uh, complete sql training and i am also planning to provide you the tutorial based on the python because uh, 
if you have the python then you are very easy to crack the next level of the uh, interview so you can just keep practice you i have the uploaded uh, 23 practice sheet okay so uh, you can practice it if you require more this type of the question you can enroll on this uh, course as well practice and download sql training so uh, thank you so much for the watching this complete video uh, i meet you in again in next video thank you